All right, what's up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing one of my all-time favorite things in the entire world, shopping for a new motorcycle. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, before we head out, I wanted to show you guys, well, remind you guys, since um, it's getting close to the end of the V2 Bayless giveaway, um, this is basically the last month you have to be entered to win this bike. So if you don't know, we do bike giveaways on this channel. They're community funded, and we do that through a website called Patreon. It's the first link in the description below. Um, if you sign up on that website, you'll be entered to win this bike, and uh, we'll be choosing a winner. I think next month. So yeah, it's looking really good. It's a gorgeous bike. We just got more carbon fiber installed on the front fender, the carbon ignition here, the carbon uh, gas cap, and we have a few more modifications left. It's getting very close. Carbon fiber wheels, $6,000 full titanium exhaust, clear clutch. It's just an absolute gem of a motorcycle. And it used to be Christina's. So first time ever, Actually, I guess it's the second time. We gave away our BMW as well. Sorry, teens. Um, but she is done riding, so yeah. One of you guys could own one of Christina's motorcycles. Probably the last one she'll ever own. I still have my Lamborghini Street Fighter. I might actually be selling this bike. Shh, don't be mad at me. It'll all make sense, because I'm switching up my build series. I'm about to talk about that once we hop in the car. And then I do have my Diablo 1260, which I'm gonna be keeping as my personal bike. Yeah, it's an awesome bike, so. Uh, why don't we hop in the car? If you guys didn't see, we got a new car to replace our Lamborghini Urus. We did sell the Urus, it's gone. Um, it was an awesome car, but I absolutely love this Mercedes. It's a 2024 Mercedes AMG GLE 63S Coupe. And there's a little cold start for you. I think, she, I'm not sure if she has the um, <clears throat> the exhaust open or not. Yeah, it, it's, it sound, this engine sounds incredible. It needs downpipes. Um, but I'm not sure if we're gonna do that. So, it's also very dirty. It's Pennsylvania in winter. Look at this, just shit everywhere, dude. It's impossible to keep clean because of all the shit they put on the road. It's brutal. We will wash this car at some point, I promise. But um, yeah, we love this thing. It's it's incredible. We're turning the massaging seats on right now, heated as well. But let's get out on the road and I'm gonna talk to you guys about some big changes coming to my channel. Okay, so we're heading to Warhorse of Camp Hill, our favorite local uh, bike shop, and we're gonna be shopping for the next uh, build series bike. So <clears throat> the reason why I wanted to talk about why I'm switching up my build series is because it opens up all the possibilities now. Um, so what, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be changing my Patreon payment method from um, a per episode payment method, which doesn't exist anywhere else in the world, but that's all they have whenever I started that page, um, to a monthly payments method, which is like way more, it makes way more sense there's there's tons of things that that are monthly so I think it just makes a lot more sense to people so um, that's the short answer to it um, I'll go into more detail when I completely change it later this month it'll start next month actually um, into how it all works and how it's gonna save people money and allow me to give away more motorcycles and make things simpler as well um, so basically the reason why going monthly makes it better for me is because now I can literally choose any bike that I want I'm no longer limited by how many modifications are available for that bike because as a per episode payment scheme I had to make enough videos to make my money back in order to give the bikes away um, so I'd have to make sometimes 30 40 50 episodes in order, depending on how much I spent for the project now I don't have to do that anymore so now I can just go monthly I can choose whatever bike I want and I can make four videos a month I can make ten videos a month and it'll just be I have to hold that onto that bike for as many months as I need to pay it off and then we give it away and we do another bike I could have multiple bikes now at the same time you'd be entered to win whatever bikes we're building if you supported that month it's just super simple and it it opens up endless possibilities so now I don't have to say sorry guys we can't do that bike because there aren't enough parts available I can buy a super Legera and put it just a couple parts on it if I want and give it away I could buy an NBA Goose now I could buy any bike literally anything so um, I'm super excited and and I've been wanting to do this for a very long time it's a big risk and that's why um, I'm gonna be listing my Lamborghini Street Fighter for sale because I want to just have like a nice cushion because I'm basically deleting two of my tiers the five dollar tier the ten dollar tier are gonna be gone and then I'm adding two other tiers so people are gonna have to re-sign up it's gonna be a learning process I'm, I'm pretty much restarting like basically 
losing two thirds of my income is basically what's gonna happen from the build series. So it's a, it's a big risk, but I think it's gonna help me make better content. It's gonna be simpler. People are gonna enjoy it way more. And it's something, like I said, I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I don't wanna sit in the garage and just do build series video after video after video on like little tiny installs and stuff. I wanna get out and ride bikes do comparison videos. Um, I could buy two bikes at the same time of different manufacturers and we could do modifications still on them but compare them, pick our favorites at the end. I just think it'll be incredible. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say and for more than, for like, I don't know, 85, 90% of you that support the build series right now, it's gonna save you money. Yes, that was the, the goal. The way that it's gonna be laid out. Yeah, that was the goal. A lot of people don't realize when I they get sign to, up. When I make the list, I get to see yeah. how much people are spending. Yes. And when he changes it to monthly, it's gonna save you so much That money. was the goal. I, I looked at what people were spending on average in each tier and I literally dropped it five or $10. So I'm trying to save people money and make better content and just, Give, give away better bikes and and yeah so that's what everybody's that the one comment i get more than any other comment is jared do different bikes stop doing ducatis stop doing this stop doing that they everybody wants to see different things on well, my we're channel listening. yeah we're listening and, and unfortunately because of how my think my payment thing was structured on patreon i wasn't able to do that but now i am so that's the big announcement i'm going to be going into more detail in the future on it um if you have questions drop them in the comment section below and let now, us know if you'd sign up yeah well they won't most of them are going to sign up based on what bike we're doing, right? And well, no, everything. I think regardless, you should sign up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sign up regardless. A bike is a bike. A motorcycle yeah. is a motorcycle. But um, now we can go and shop for a new bike and get to the fun part of the video. All right, we have arrived at Warhorse of Camp Hill. They now carry BMWs, KTMs, Vespa, Aprilia, Moto Guzzi, Ducati, and Yamaha, which is insane and some of my favorite brands. So it's awesome that they're all here under one roof. Thank you very much, babe. And they completely redid their showroom and it looks amazing in here. So let's take a walk around and see what we got. Check this out. When you first walk in, new people who bought bikes all right here on the board, which is super cool. Congratulations. If you're on this list, comment and you're watching this video, comment in the comment section below. So we're gonna get things started. There's so many good bikes in here. They actually got their big Ducati thing up there as well now for their Ducati section. But we're starting off in the BMW section, which is the section that you walk into. And I gotta just come straight over to this bike right here. So this is a 2024 BMW M1000 single R a bike we've never done before. And to be completely honest, naked bikes are one of my most requested bikes to get build and give away. And I think this is probably one of the best naked bikes you can buy, this and the Street Fighter V4 from Ducati. But this is like all new designed uh, for last year. They don't make very many of these. I've only seen one other in this store in the past year. And that one sold immediately when I made a video on it out of state. So I'm pretty sure this one's gonna sell immediately once I put this video up. But if I want it, if you guys are interested in me doing a build series with this bike, let me know in the comment section below. This is number one on my list, I would say, this bike right here. We've never done one. We've only done two BMWs and that was a few builds ago. And that one did really well, our Carbon M1000 R. And the S1000 R. Yeah, yeah, but that one was yeah. back in California. Yeah. We've never done the single R. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I comes with, this, has like a diamond. this is the competition version. Yeah, it comes with tons of carbon fiber. It's very similar to the double R, um, but obviously it's got bars instead of clip-ons. So it's up a little bit higher, a little bit more comfortable riding position. Look where you put on the keyless, I believe. Oh. So it's just a little button there that you press. Cool. Has the same dash, huge 7.5 inch LCD display. It is a little pricey. It's not as much as the M1000. 27k plus you know taxes and fees it's going to be well over thirty thousand dollars so it's an expensive bike and of course we'll be working with moto million putting tons of parts on this bike there's not a ton you need to do to it i'd probably swap out some of these because it's stupid stuff like this um probably upgrade the brakes you can do nice right exhaust system yeah isn't it a lot more comfortable, more comfortable than the, than the yeah the clip-ons yeah bar. yeah but this is an awesome bike. I love that double R. Look, the shock is already color matched, which looks really good. We can actually do clear clutches on these now. I, I think Moto Million carries clear clutches for this, which would be super cool. Do a full exhaust system, which on this bike, you can see most of it. A full tie system would be awesome with a little shorty muffler. The one thing I see is that you can't remove the rear pegs. Mm, yeah, you can. Where? Up underneath here, look. What are you talking about? 
This is why teens isn't our. Uh... No, look. What? Isn't that welded in? No, teens. There's a bolt there. Oh, that. Just why would there not be there. a? It just looks different. I just haven't. Christina Khalil, design. ladies and gentlemen. I like all the carbon accents. Mm-hmm. All new design to rear end. Look how cool this and looks. The shock is blue. The shock is blue. Looks beautiful. I believe it comes with the. I think it might have a 520 chain and sprocket. I'd have to look on no, it to know. It does that. come with carbon wheels though, which is awesome. The rear sets already look great. I mean, for, it's for as much there's as not a ton. 30 grand, that's, that's a lot of carbon. 26. Thousand. Yeah, we could do a carbon tank and then put back on graphics too or leave the graphics off the tank So you know, it's unique. We, I would do a custom seat cover Absolutely. as well. Maybe more comfortable seat These can be a little That's not, yeah. Those can be a little brutal But yeah, even you can do all carbon frame covers too to cover up all that. It looks really good But I think that's a gorgeous bike Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a build series with this bike and be entered to win this bike whenever it's done uh, in the comment section below, but Beautiful. yeah, you like it? I do. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. So these BMW R9Ts, they have a bunch of different models of this range. Um, I did a first ride on this a bunch of years ago and it did really well. It's a super cool bike. It's shaft driven. It has the engine box engine that comes out to the sides and it's just, look how cool it looks. Tom Cruise is, there's like famous photos of videos of Tom Cruise riding one. This would be really cool too. I would probably want to do this alongside another bike, not just by itself, but doing like a cafe style of one of these would be really freaking cool. And now, guess what? I can do it because we're going to be going monthly. So I could just throw that in with another build. It's going to depend on how much support I get from you guys, obviously. But if a ton of people sign up and we have lots of, lots of funding to play with, I'm just going to throw more bikes at the build series and there'll just be more bikes given away. So I would love to do that alongside another bike. I think that would be super cool. Yeah, maybe like a cafe shootout. We could do this, this versus like a Triumph. Um, what's it called? What's the Triumph? Bobber? No, no, no. The, well, they do have a bobber, but I think the ca the Triumph cafe, cafe racer, racer style would be better. I can't think of the name right now, um, but whenever I find it, I'll show it to you. So they also have a bunch of bikes in here. They have a single. So this is this is the the S1000 single R. So this is the cheaper version of the M1000. So that's like, I mean, even these look really cool too. So this is basically BMW's bike to compete with the Ducati Street Fighter. It's their naked bike. It uses the engine from the um, S1000 RR tuned differently and stuff like that. But even this bike looks really good too. Here's some of their Moto Guzzi's. I honestly know absolutely nothing about these bikes. So I'm not even gonna attempt to explain anything about them. Um, from what I've seen, the models that I've seen, I'm not a real big Moto Guzzi guy. Something like this is actually pretty cool, like one of these. I'd have to change up quite a few stuff to make it a little more bobbed out. Um, but they're really nice and they are here and they're available. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at the size it of this. It's very comfortable though, but like. <laughs> yeah, not my style. It can hold a lot. Yes. Boy, it, is it hard I know they're nice bikes and they're, and they're Italian, which is awesome. Don't kick anything, teens. Um, uh, why don't we look at some Yamahas? Because I love this new R3 paint scheme. Walk right by the, Vespa here. the Vespas? Right by the Vespas. No, I don't care about them. People talk Bob about Rock. turbo Vespa builds <laughs> on this channel all the time. Oh, we, it ain't gonna happen. So again, now that I'm gonna be doing monthly, I think it'd be really, that's an R7. Oh, that's super cool. So imagine doing like a big brother, little brother build where we did like an R1 and an R7, you know, and we gave away both of those bikes. That'd be super cool. Or let the winner choose and then the second place gets whatever the winner doesn't want, you know? I think that'd be super cool. I love these color schemes. I mean, they're just stickers, they're but they look really nice. Um, but. Look at that thing. Badass, right? Is it higher or lower than the Panigale? Lower. Lower? I love, I like the cotton candy color. It's a shame that it's just stickers. Yeah. But. Well, most everything is stickers, even some yeah, of the Ducatis. Like really cheap yeah, because normally when they do the stickers, they clear coat over them. Yeah, these like, and then like it blends into the paint scheme right a little bit yeah. more. Yeah, which technically you could. But yeah, those are nice. R7s are sick. Um, this is the naked bike version. So like BMW has their S1000 single R. Um, Ducati has their Street Fighter and Yamaha has their MT. Basically, there are MT series, the 07s, 09s, and the, or the 10s. It's like a nipple or something. Yeah, I just, and... I don't know about the styling on these guys. To me, it's just, mm. I know they're great bikes. People really enjoy them. This looks awesome. The tank and all this looks like the R1M. Like, that's super cool. 
Um, I like that area. The headlight for me, I feel like maybe just doing a round headlight or something might be a little bit better. Um, here, the Triumphs. Let's see if they have that one I was talking about earlier so I can find it. Yeah, this thing's cool, dude. What the hell? Um, I think it's a Husqvarna. Yeah, it's a Husqvarna. It's, uh, is it electric? I don't know. I was just about to ask. I don't know. It's only five grand, though. That's a cool little bike. That is, it looks so futuristic. Yeah, and it looks super cool. It has that, like, straight across line. That's like Cafe it's Racer style. Flat. Yeah, flat. it's like Cafe Racer style. I, th I want to say this is... Is it? Even touch the no, it's not. It's not electric. There's an exhaust there. It's a regular, but it's probably like a twin or a single cylinder. But look how cool that looks. That is so yeah. funky. It's dope, right? What's but it called? I love this style. Husqvarna is the brand. I don't know what the Husqvarna. bike is. Look, look how cool that looks with the flat headlight right there, and then everything flat across there. That that's like cafe style. That's my kind of. I like that style a lot. I've been wanting to do that a cafe so style. Weird. Yeah, a cafe style bike on the channel for a long time. So now we can finally do that. Which is really cool. Yeah, that's that's really dope. So they have some Triumphs back here. Um, I I actually did do a Triumph Daytona 675R way back in the day. Um, I would love to do a Speed Triple or is this a Speed Triple? Yeah, these are super cool. I've actually never ridden these. <laughs> they have two of them in here, highly discounted right now, which is really nice. But they're beautiful bikes, and I, I could never really do Triumphs before because there's just there weren't enough parts for them. Um, but now doing monthly I could literally do one which is super cool and the bike I was thinking of was the Thruxton that's the bike I was thinking of that I would you could do like a Thruxton versus the BMW R9T something like that what do you what are you on here I don't know. this is this is what I'm dealing with <laughs> squeaking yeah it's hilarious I, when I become Benelli I don't even know what that is um, they do have some Aprilia's in here Oh, and like this would be a perfect example of doing like big brother, little brother build where we do like an Aprilia RS660. Oh, these are already sold, teens. Don't, t sold. don't touch them. We'll get yelled at. <clears throat> All right, we'll see the YouTube comments. Don't touch another person's bike. Uh huh. Um, but we could do an RS660 build and then a big brother build like uh, RSV4 with an RS660. Give away two of them. Look at how much these RS660s sell. One, two, three. It's just sitting here sold. I keep telling Ducati to do a baby Panigale. They won't do it. They would sell like hotcakes. Those do look really good though. Yeah. Yeah, but look, they're all RS 660s. Aprilia's? Uh, no, I don't see any. Yeah. But the Aprilia's sell like hotcakes, these, these RS 660s. They actually added a whole new room back here for their um, off road stuff, which we really don't do. I'm not super interested in, but it looks really good back here. So you've got dirt bikes, four-wheelers, jet skis. This actually would be pretty useful for Christina doing their, her deer, deer feeding. And then we could put a plow on it and plow our own driveway so people don't rip up our, our grass. So people don't rip up our grass. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. All right, now we come to my favorite section, the Ducatis. Oh, and while we're here, um, <clears throat> next Saturday, it's February 10th um, at 4.30, we're doing an Italian night here at Warhorse. So it's a night with Ducati and Jared Campisi. We're gonna do uh, wine, wine tastings, uh, cheeses and chocolates, and she's gonna do some chocolate. I'm gonna make chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah, so we're gonna be here. I'll put, I'll put details in the description below. They do want you to RSVP so they know how much stuff to have. Um, so you just have, yeah, register. Yeah. You just have to put your name and email, whatever. Um, so yeah, and I'm actually gonna do a little talk about the history of Ducati and some of my favorite models and stuff like that So I think it'll be a lot of fun. 4.30 to 7 o'clock. Yeah, February 10th, Saturday. That's three days after Jared's birthday. It is, yep. So it'll be a little birthday celebration uh, of my favorite brand. So, um, Scramblers. I've always liked the Scramblers, but I never wanted to do a Scrambler just by itself because I just didn't think, I don't think it would generate enough hype, you know? But this is totally, now we could throw this in alongside another build that we were doing, which would be super cool. Cause you can, I would cafe racer style it out and they can look, to yeah, they, yeah, you could totally ride it around. That'd be awesome. They sound great. I think this was the, yeah, these are twins. I can almost How nice they are. Yeah, this is super cool. I love the paint schemes I on these too. The and they come in a bunch of different si engine sizes. And actually like these, like you can put really cool exhaust systems on here that have cool bends and <clears throat> and stuff like that. Like we did with the Monster with that SC Project tie system, which was super cool. And they have a ton of different scramblers to choose. They just make, they make a ton of them. Look, and now they've upgraded the dashes. They look really nice. But yeah, that's, scramblers are cool. People have asked me, 
these and the hypers. The hypers people have asked for too. Now it's something I could just throw in with another build. Oh, I see something in the distance. Yeah, you wanna, wanna go take a look? Yeah. All right, so now we come to probably my, along with the BMW M1000 Single R, my second bike that I would wanna do the most for the next build would be the new Diablo V-Force because I could basically do a whole comparison, this versus my Diablo 1260, which is like my favorite bike, one of my favorite bikes of all time. <clears throat> and my dad has the old Diablo, so we can make a lot of cool videos comparing them and sound and riding and having the people trying them all out, me and my dad and Dotto, and <clears throat> they're badass bikes. So your like, top two choices are the M1000, M1000 and this. Those would be my top two choices. And they're both almost the exact same money. They're like a couple hundred dollars off, so 27,000 and some yeah. change. They're both gonna come out right around $30,000 mark. Uh, Moto Million has parts for both of these. He has more for the M1000, but I don't know, dude. We don't rely on parts anymore. No, it doesn't matter, but they, Full 6 is making full carbon for this, except the gas tank, and then we could wrap the gas tank for the first time ever, we could try I wrapping it black. and doing something that we've never done before. And we could make this one a bit more custom because it's like a stock bike, whereas the M1000 has like a special paint scheme and stuff like that I wouldn't want to change. They do make a full exhaust for this. So Terminioni makes one, which I'm not a huge fan of. And then um, Acura makes one, but it's $6,500 for the exhaust. Yeah, and I can't get that through Manny because they don't carry them. You have to get it through a Ducati dealership. <clears throat> so this bike would end up being a lot more money, but I don't know, man. I love the Diablo. I think I might be more excited about this one. I don't know, but you're restarting your entire build. Yeah, I know. My support. Income. Yeah, so if you, I don't know. Let me know in the comment yeah. section below. So. Between these two, and I know I said I can do any bike, any bike I want now, and I'm gonna do, uh, there's a chance I could do another Ducati, but I'm still doing my favorite bikes. At the end of the day, this is my whole job. This is my whole livelihood. Go feel. Let's see Jer Campisi. I got invited to the press launch of this bike in Dubai, but it was on my birthday last year. We already had plans, so I didn't go. But I regret it every day. You do look really good on that bike. I'm not gonna lie. And you would get black over red. I mean, they both look great. I'm gonna be doing, like I said, a lot of these accessory parts are gonna be carbon. Um, and then the tank, we could do whatever we want with. We could strip it down aluminum. We could just wrap it something completely different and unique. They're, they have huge, Motocourse makes some really cool parts. You replace this entire thing right here with a clear clutch. And it's like, really? you could do black or red or silver. Yeah, oh. like there's just, there's a lot of parts. I would do carbon wheels on these. That sh it would probably shape like 35, 40 pounds. Ah, oh, those wheels kind of look cool. The exhaust looks incredible on this. There's just a lot of trick components. I don't know, man. I kind of like this. <laughs> I know your dad would say this. I like this. Yeah, Manny just got one for his um for This his is a build, business. right? Yeah, and he's doing like a build on it. and. It sounds and looks incredible, and he loves it. And man, he's a sport bike guy. I don't know. This, this is, this might be number one of my. Best. The only thing you've done close to this <clears throat> is the XD Oval, right? Yeah, which did really well in California. Back in California, that was one of my best build series. Um, that I. That, that I, actually was a beautiful bike. I did absolutely. The XD Oval was incredible. Love. Old ladies were like commenting on it how much they loved it. Bike. Remember, it was all satin carbon, and, and then we did tank. a brushed aluminum tank. Yeah. That thing looked incredible. So yeah, I mean those are those are my options. Totally different. At least the Diablo is totally different. I know it's a Ducati, but it's totally what different. About, what about sport bikes? What about like a super sport? Yeah, so I'm not gonna do a sport bike because it's still gonna be like a end of winter spring build. So that's something you save for like summertime. Um, obviously, this is like one of my favorite bikes of all time. They do have this available here with the exhaust on it, so it's a good deal because they've already installed it. The new Super Sport, super cool, the 950S. Again, that could be something where we do like a Super Sport and a Scrambler, you know, do a two bike build series giveaway, something like that in the future. I love the paint scheme on the Super Sports. Look at that, the 950S. Um, obviously, Street Fighters are awesome. <clears throat> I've done a Street Fighter build. That was a very popular build that we did with the V2 in Cali. That was a, that did very well for me, but it was also brand new when it came out. Um, those are awesome bikes, but uh, you know that's something we would probably do in the future. And again, my goal would be to get to a point where we have enough support to do a, a Street Fighter versus like a BMW M1000 R or something like that. What about a Multistrada? Yeah, even Multistradas. I, I'm the, I, 
I'm not personally into them, so I probably wouldn't but do a build. Popular. Do a build with these. It's Ducati's top-selling motorcycle. You know that, teens? They sell more bikes than these than all their other bikes combined. What? Yeah. Where? Who's buying? Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. Um, cool. So, so I mean, that's that's pretty much where we stand uh, with everything. That's all the bikes that they have in here. Um, another bike, well, the monsters are really cool too. So like maybe a super sport with a monster would be a better like build series. Imagine doing two of those together. That'd be super cool. I love the, the white. Oh, imagine a white monster with a white super sport. That'd be a really cool build. Do two of them together. Yeah, I love the red actually on this monster and the black looks really good too. I love that. That would have been a great I bike like for you. Yeah. You haven't ridden the new one, have you? Mm -mm, I haven't. I would like to. Maybe I'll do a first ride regardless if I don't do a build with one in the future. All right, so there you go, guys. Shopping for a new motorcycle. Um, I'm super excited. I love that dealership. It's so awesome. Um, it looks incredible. The people are awesome. At the end, we didn't film it. I asked a bunch of the employees there. Um, I, I was like, if I was going to give you a bike, if you were going to win one of my giveaway bikes, would you rather win a M1000 single R or a Diablo V4? Everyone said Diablo V4, including myself and, and Christina me. and Dotto and, and my dad. dad and your mom. <laughs> so, and my grandmother. Yeah. Um, and you. <laughs> so, I know it's another Ducati, but that's where Don't my. Don't think about it right. as in, like, because which it's totally do you want to see bike. build series on? Think about it as. Which it's one would basically you a want cruiser. to own? Yeah, it's basically a cruiser. So it's totally different. With plenty of power. Yeah, but I'm saying like, I, I've, the only other time I've done this style of bike was an XD Oval. That was like five years ago, and it did really well on my channel. Mm. That's what I would like to build. I could get a little bit more custom with it. The M1000 already has a custom paint scheme. I wouldn't really want to change that. Um, and that's the one that I would like to ride more. I want to, the Diablo is one of my favorite bikes of all time, and I want to see how the V4 feels compared to my 1260. There's one downside. What? It's a lot more expensive. Yeah, it's gonna. They're about the same amount of money, but I can get the other exhaust through Manny for, Manny for the BMW. I have to buy this one through, um, which they still give me a discount at at Warhorse. But it's a sixty five hundred dollar exhaust versus the full tie system for the BMW is like twenty seven hundred. Really? Yeah. It's, oh my. It's crazy the difference. So it's gonna cost me more money it's gonna be a bigger risk and people are probably gonna complain at first until they see the build series and see the content and stuff and then i think people will be excited so there you go I, again we couldn't do any of this without you guys i value your opinion let us know in the comment section below what you think about all of this which bikes you would like to be entered to win and of course which ones you would want to see content being made with because at the end of the day there's a lot more people watching the builds than signing up to win the bikes so um, but the patrons will always get you know top priorities i'm going to be asking them and that's it so a lot of big changes coming to the channel and to our lives and uh, i'm very excited um, for the next chapter so i hope you guys are too um, if you enjoyed the video give it a big old juicy thumbs up subscribe for more and we'll see you all in the next one Bye. Peace.